Hey guys, it's me Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 8 of Solo Love Links. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. But what if it doesn't, though? I mean, we know it's probably going to cure her, so. Yeah, because we really don't want to have the same mishap that we had two weeks ago. Because he was so close to death, not once, not twice, but several times in the episode. I'm like, bro, you really about to die, like, again, like, mm. Seriously? Yeah, how are you going to get past that? I mean, yeah, that would. I, okay, then, yeah, maybe it is a good idea. All right. Oh, finally we get to see this girl. It's been how many weeks since we last saw her? Damn. No, thank you. Go get him, Cody.
<clears throat> Just for that one time. Had to be. Bingo card? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could probably be useful in the future, but... <laughs> So don't risk it. It does make me wonder why ever since he did lose his arm, you know, why he never got a prosthetic. Yeah. It, it would be best for him to possibly go into retirement as well. I don't like the fact that we're showing him like this and stuff because something tells me that weird feeling I have in the pit of my stomach, he's not coming home this time. And I don't want to see that for this family. I don't want to see any family struggling in this show, but God dang it. Hmm. 
Well, damn. How you gonna say that to your kid? crazy that all three of them got that same message. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said he'll be fine, right? So it's okay. all gonna meet up for the first time in like how long oh god
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> How do you explain that? <laughs> yeah, cause how can all y'all look at him in the eye? <laughs> We don't want prisoners. The hell? That's bullshit, and y'all know it. I got a bad feeling about this. And of course, we're not seeing it until next week. Okay. The fact is that the six of them, our six survivors are all together again. It, it is interesting, but it is a little fishy at the same time because that six could turn into three. 
Maybe. I don't know. I mean, because, like, the odds of all six of them surviving are really, like, a 99.9%. And literally any little detail could happen. Like, I could, if I really wanted to, I could just cheat and see who all dies. But, I, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be skeptical. I'm going to wait until next Saturday because, duh. But, yeah, it definitely seems like something is up. Really. I mean, and then, no, let's talk about the other elephant in the room. Criminals? Are you kidding me? They really, this show really said, yeah, we'll take anybody. Truly, anyone. Even if you're a hunter and a criminal, you can still come in and reduce your, reduce your sentence? That's nuts, man. Oh my god. I, I mean, that's something I never would have thought that would happen in this show by reducing your sentence as a criminal and a hunter at the same time. Okay. That's a perfect episode for episode nine. Because, yeah, uh, homeboy, pro player guy, he, he is definitely going to be like, hey, yo, Jinwoo, you've been hiding some shit for the rest of us. Like, because, okay, mine here, because, of course, he can't really show off. That's the biggest thing. He has to be on the defense. Now, if it was just him and Wes's face, oh, yeah, most definitely he could get, get everything done, do whatever he has to do. But because this is a big behind group, and he hasn't really, you know, he's lying. He's making up lies as he goes. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, someone found my legs and my arms, and they stitched it all back together, and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> um, and, and it's just like, one day, all those lies are going to come up, like, to the surface. And, we're, and I'm guessing we're going to have to get that next week. And it's going to be hugely awkward if he lays everything out on the table. But I think, you know, something tells me the command, a.k.a. our higher-ups who are keeping him alive, is probably going to be like, you snitch, you die. Just like how we, <laughs> when we got to the previous point where it was either him killing six people or him dying instantly. And because it is something as a command and such, and they are, like, the people who determine his fate, he has to do everything. And it fucking sucks. But I just don't want a situation where he has to possibly kill three, five other people that he cares about. Really, not, not even five. He cares about two out of that five. So. Ugh. Not even five, it's four, because the girl... Yeah, it's four, because counting him is five. But he... <laughs> I don't know. Now, finally seeing the blonde girl after what? I think it's been about a good three, four weeks since we last saw her. I mean, because this ain't going as a, as initially how I thought it was going to go, where it was like, oh, one week we'll focus on Janu, the next week we'll focus on her and such. I'm not mad at that, though, but it feels like because... In my opinion, we really just know, like, Jack-ish her, about her. So, hopefully, maybe before this show is over, we get to learn possibly no more about her. If not, that is okay. I'm guessing, like, a quote-unquote potential season two. Or if they wanted to do a spinoff all about her, that would be nice and such. But who, who really knows? But yeah, I'm very scared about what the hell about to happen next week. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually reach towards episode 8 of Solo Leveling. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.